Hi, third and fourth graders. Hey, third and fourth graders. Well, we're together today. Third and fourth third grade. Third and fourth grade. Because we're going on a field, field trip. trip. We we're are so excited. so excited, but we had to say it calmly because we keep yelling into Mr. Kevin's ears when we yeah. get too excited. There's so. something going on with the microphones that makes it amplify really loud. Yeah. So we're trying to stay calm. Mm -hmm. Now, before we talk about our field trip, Let's check in with our zones. How are you feeling today? What zone are you in? Your brain, your body, your emotions. Miss hmm. Aslan, what zone are you in? I am in the bluish, yellowish green zone. Oh my. I know, there's a lot going on because uh, my brain feels tired. Mm -hmm. So that would be the blue zone. My eyes are really dry today. Oh, that's so really hard. So it just feels really irritating. So that's like the yellow zone. Mm -hmm. But my bot, like the rest of my body, I have feel like I have lots of energy, okay. and I'm fine, but not too much energy. Okay. So yeah, how are you feeling? Um, meh. I don't yeah. really know if there's a color for meh. Yeah. Is there a gray? Yeah, let's make one. <laughs> gray. Like I'm yeah. not great, but I'm not horrible. Yeah. I'm a little tired, I'm a little sore. Mm -hmm. My brain's a little jumbled, mm -hmm. but nothing's mm -hmm. so, like I feel like I can learn. Yeah. But I don't feel like I'm like ready to go. Mm. It's maybe like I just a don't dull really know green. My, yeah, I just don't really know my color yeah. today. Okay. And I think it's okay to not know. Yeah. It's not okay to not know every day. But right. I just feel right. mm. Yeah. Mr. That Kevin, happens. what zone are you in? Uh, let's see. What zone am I in? playing my own think time music here. I think I'm in the green yellow. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Some tech stuff not working correctly. Got some tech huh? things not working mm. out today, but uh, you know, still trying to make a go of it. Yep. Yeah. And that's the best thing you can do, right? Just try your best. That's Sometimes true. Sometimes obstacles happen and we can't control them and we just have to do the best we can. Yep. Do the best we can. Yep. Should we, should we say hi to our third graders at Bernie? Yes. Hi, we Bernie got to work with graders. some of our, Mrs. Burt's and Miss Stephens third graders at Bernie. It was amazing. It was. I got to do a little math lesson. You did. We got to say hello. Yes. It was so fun, friends. I'm it hoping was. that we get another chance. Yes. It was great. So, uh, three personal standards. Yes. Especially when we're going out in public. Mm, most definitely, especially if we're dealing with nature because yes. there's a really important standard in there. Yes, okay, so let's review our three personal standards. Are. Show respect, respect. Make, make good decisions, decisions solve, solve problems. problems. Show respect, it's gonna be big today. It is, because we're not gonna be in our own space. And we're gonna be using things from nature. Yes. And we need to be respectful of it even though we're learning with it. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna destroy it. We mm -hmm. might use it, but then we're mm -hmm. gonna put it back mm -hmm. and be respectful. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be on a structure that's not ours. Yep. And it has potential to be dangerous. So we need to make good decisions. And it has the potential to pull us off, pull us off task. Yes. Make good decisions. And then yeah. we're not in our space. We can't control what's happening. Mm -mm. So we may have to solve some problems because mm -hmm. we're gonna be a public space. That's true. So some things might happen and we have to solve some problems on the fly. Yeah, we can do that. But we're gonna be doing science. Yes. With a bus. We have a bus, yes. I wonder what they think, what kind of bus we have. Oh. You'll have to wait and see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Mr. Kevin, are you ready? Are you ready? I, I think I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute, one, one, more, one more second here. You got uh, it. Let me just get this, uh, wait, wait, wait. get our little graphic up here. Here we go. And it's this time is going for... to be the big science word. The big science words. Oh. So our third graders. And fourth graders. Well, we're gonna review our third grade. Oh, yes, sorry. Mm. Third, mm -hmm. that's okay. Third graders are learning about force. Yep. Force, force. A, a push, push or, or a pull, pull on something. something. There's a third grader at Bernie that loves that. He says it all the time. It was so great, we were so excited. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was like, hey, Mrs. Oslin, did you know that a force is, is a, a push, push or, or a pull, pull on, on something? something? He told us like three or four times. It was great. It was awesome. Made my teacher heart happy. I know. And then our fourth graders were learning about vibration. And sound. Mm -hmm. And vibration, vibration is moving, moving back, back and, and forth. forth. Today we're gonna learn the word variable. variable. It's both third and fourth grade's word. Yes. 
variable. Hmm. Hmm. Very, like a lot. Oh, like very excited. Oh yeah. Or but able, like I can. But that's spelled with A-R instead of E-R. So maybe oh. it's like very, like a variety of things. Oh, that's, I was thinking, hmm. I've heard the word variable when we drive over um, the mountains uh -huh. and it's a variable speed zone. Oh, so they can like, fluctuate the it speed? Can, yep. Uh, so it's something that you change? Something that you change, that's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Are you ready for the final meaning of variable? Something, something that can change or that, that has, has no fixed, fixed value. value. So how would that work with sound and force? Well, we're gonna learn about variables today mm -hmm. and we're gonna change some variables and see if outcomes are different. Mm -hmm. We might hit it softer or harder. Mm -hmm. We might change the size. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about um, when we pushed the magnets on the sugar yep. and the ice, that was the variable, variable. that changed. Mm, the surface. Mm -hmm. We might do that, we might change the angle. Mm. We might change how long or short something is. Mm -hmm. Lots of different variables that you can change to see what happens to the outcome. Are you Learn ready to do it with force and, and sound. sound? Are you ready to find out where we're going? Show me a picture. You may recognize this. It's here in our backyard. In it's fact, like right, right there. there. It's Wright Park. It's Wright Park. We're going to Wright Park. We're going to the playground structure at Wright Park. We're going to think about what can we do to make sounds change. What can we do to make forces change? And how to experience those things in a park. So you can realize when you go and play, you're actually doing science. You just didn't know it. You just didn't know. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you ready to see Miss Oslin and Mrs. Wally play at a park? It could get kind of funny. It'll be awesome. It will we'll be. have a good time. Okay, we're gonna introduce you to a new science graphic. New science, science graphic. graphic. Okay. Oh. Oof. Oof. That's weird Ooh. looking. There's a lot going on there. There is. But this is the process of science. This is the scientific process. This mm -hmm. is what scientists do. And science doesn't just happen like in one order. You do this and this and this mm -hmm. and this, and then you find the answer. Mm -mm. That's not how science works. Mm -mm. Sometimes you live in one space for a while, and then you move to another one, and then you go back up to that space because you have more questions. Mm -hmm. So where are we at today? Well, we are going to be making observations, mm -hmm. asking questions, mm -hmm. sharing data and ideas. Mm -hmm. We're up in the red zone there. We're up in the red zone. Um, Trying to come up with like a prediction or a hypothesis. Which is in the, green, in, the green in the green circle there. So we'll see if we get there today. We yeah. may still stay up in that red bubble, mm -hmm. kind of processing information to learn. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try to start getting down into that hypothesis, like what is the rule then between mm -hmm. this motion and this sound thing? Drawing conclusions. If this, then, then this. Right. So that's what we're going to do today. Yeah. We're definitely, like, we're in the, the thick of the scientific process. We really process. are. All right. So friends, next time you see us, We'll be on the playground. At Wright Park. See you there. See you there. Bye. Okay, the first thing we want to show you at Wright Park are these two structures right here. And they have put in sound making machines. Doesn't seem like much when you look at it. No, it just looks like wood. Some wood. But we want to talk about why the sounds are sounding the way they are. Mm -hmm. And what happens when we apply more force or less force to the sound. When we change a variable. Right. So, Mr. Kevin, I'm gonna play on this side. And I'd like you friends to just listen. They even have mallets for you here to play. So I want you just to listen and then we'll show you the bars. So just listen. How did the sound go from the lower sound to the higher sound? Why did that happen? Well, what do we know? What do we know about sound? Made of vibrations. It's made of vibrations. Take a look at these bars. The larger bar made the lower sound. The shorter bar made the higher sound. Think about our sound waves. The larger the sound wave, the more distance apart the sound wave, the lower the sound. Mm. The closer the sound wave, the higher the pitch. The same thing happens with these bars. And underneath, you can't see it, and it'd be really hard to get under, but there are pipes that are living underneath and they're different lengths. Miss Lawson, can you play on the other side? Sure. Should I, I'll start with the high sound this time. Okay. okay. Whoa. I'm gonna play my lowest sound and you play your lowest sound. Okay. Those are 
are different pitches. They're different. I wonder if the bars are different. Like the size of the bar? Mm-hmm. Oh. I think they are. And the size of the tube? Hers are shorter and closer to the ground. The tube is shorter. You do yours. Low to high. Low to high. Should we compare our highest sound? Yeah. Okay. Not too far. Not you want to go from highest to low? Yes. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. They're similar notes, mm -hmm. but a different pitch. Hers are lower pitch, mine are higher pitch. Then there's this other really cool object. Come over this way. You can just what? use your hand. That'll work better. I wonder why. I wonder why, why? My hand, you could hear it better. Better with the mallet. It's better with the mallet. Well, the mallet is a lot sturdier mm -hmm. and firmer. It's made of metal and then rubber. And it has a really direct source that it's hitting. My hand has lots of surface area, right? What about on this side? What does that one sound like? Oh. Oh, there's two different. Here, so this one. I wonder why. What's different about them that would give them a different sound? Well, this one's higher on the box and this is lower on the box. Oh. I wonder if this box was flipped upside down if then it would trade sounds. Oh. I hope that some of you come to Wright Park to investigate this more. Yes. And really decide and see what you think. Why do you think the sounds are changing? What can you do to make the sounds change? Huh. What variables can you change? Like, if I go over here and I play with my hand, I can make the sound, but it doesn't sound very good. If I do this. It sounds more like music as opposed to yeah. just hitting a piece of wood. And I can do it really light. And make it really loud, depending on how hard I'm using my force on the bar, which is causing the vibrations, which is causing the sound. And when I do it not as hard, the vibrations are not as deep. But when I hit it harder, the vibrations go deeper and make it louder. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Really cool. Why don't you play us one of your songs from your old percussion oh, days? Oh, I can't do that, Miss <laughs> Oslin. Nope. Sorry, friends. It's been too long. I wish I could. All right. It's raining, but that's the Pacific Northwest. Welcome to Tacoma. So we have a bus. We promised you a bus, and we shall deliver the bus. Here is our bus. Is it what I, you thought? Is it the bus you thought? <laughs> I actually had to hide it in my bag today because Oliver would have been very sad if he found me with the bus, because it's his favorite toy. But we thought we would send the bus down the slide and change some variables about the bus. Let's see if we can change how the bus goes. Now, if I set this bus here on this flat surface, it doesn't go anywhere. It remains Balanced still. force. Mm -hmm. But if I go over to the slide, I know how to do that. and I set the bus, same thing, I'm going to just set it on the slide. It flies off. So what was the force? What variable did we change? Well, that was flat, and this had an angle. So what force was applied? Gravity, pulling it down the angle. The gravity pulls straight down. So if it's flat, it's gonna just stay where it is. But if it's angled, it's gonna pull it down. Now, Ms. Ozzin, we forgot to grab some rocks. We did. I'm gonna go hunting for some rocks. You can show them parts of the bus. Okay. Okay. I also wanna point out the wheels and how the wheels on the bus are very smooth. There's no texture, or no, excuse me, there's no bumps on it like you would see on a there real school bus. bus. So there would be very little friction. I also noticed that the 
plastic is getting wet. So I wonder if the rain is going to add a variable and change the speed of the bus. I don't know. I also wonder if we put some weight inside the bus, like thinking about children no being bucks. in the bus, no. we could simulate that with some other heavy material, if that would change the speed of the bus going down the slide. Take some think time and think about what variable could you change to change the speed of the bus going down the slide? Guess what, friends? They do a really good job of making this a safe play space. So there's, there's no, no rocks. rocks. So I was thinking, but we could change a variable. Yeah. Because I just set it on the slide before. Yeah. What would happen if I push it down the slide? Oh. What do you think is going to happen if I apply force to the back of the bus going down the same slide? Hope Let's I can look. catch it. <laughs> so. Oh. What happened? I did not expect that. Let's do it again. Let's see if it happens. It spun around. It spun around. Okay. What happens if I set the bus and I apply force to the front of the bus? What do you think is going to happen? Oh. oh! It started to tip. It did. I had to slow it down. I actually sped up so it would stop tipping. Let's see if we can get it to tip again. Okay. Force at the front of the bus. Yep. Oh. So right there, it's starting to lose its traction, I think, because of the water. There's not the friction there. The water's creating less friction, so it's starting to slide and wobble. Just like cars do on the road, right? And notice it doesn't go off the edge. Wow. Pretty cool. That is really cool. What else should we look at, Miss Oslin? Oh, what about? Yeah. We're going to play on We're going to play. Okay, Miss Oslin. Bus, you get to hang out. Do we want to get on it or do we want to just spin it? <laughs> I'm going to get on it. Okay, how about I spin it? Okay. Wait till I get all the way on. Yep, though. we're going to have you be at a balanced force. Or can you get at a balanced force with just you on it? What happens? Okay, so friends, she's at a balanced force. What do you think is going to happen? If I spin Miss Oslin, what do you think is going to happen to her body? Is her body going to stay where it is? Is it going to want to go in or is it going to want to go out? Which way is the force going to pull? What's your prediction? Ready, Miss Oslin? Go! Oh! oh! What did her body do? Miss Oslin, you're starting to move it yourself. What are you doing? I am applying a force to the side by using my body weight. Should I spin you again? I'm noticing I'm slowing down. You are. Oh, there I go. Hang on. Here we go. Woo! Oh, I almost made it! <laughs> but why is she f slowing down if we're why not applying a force? Why can't I make it force? all the way around? I wonder if it would change if we tilted this so it was upright. Oh, if then I could make it all the way around? Because it's at an angle, so your force is going to actually, because of gravity, gravity. is going to exert more force where you are down here than up, than there. up there. I wonder if we start it with me what up there. What if I sat up there? Oh. Shall we try? Try it. I don't know if I can get on. It's slippery. Is it slippery? Yeah. Hold on. You know what we might do? <sighs> oh, there we go. What is this? Oh, this could be dangerous, Miss Oslin. What if I do this? I'll get down. Perfect. You get on and then I'll jump on. Okay. Miss Oslin, I think your microphone's off. Oh. <laughs> I had too much fun playing. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Kevin. Is, okay. that, is that better? 
Okay, Mrs. Wally, are you ready? Yep, and I'm gonna apply a force down here with my foot. I'm gonna push us off. Go ahead, you get up. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> oh. What is going on? Now Miss Oslin's over there. <laughs> We're balanced. Why did that happen? Before, you couldn't get up there. I couldn't get up there. And now, no, it's I'm like stuck. a teeter-totter. I have more mass than Miss Oslin does which means I'm gonna be pulled by gravity more than Miss Oslin is. That is cool. Let's see if I can get us. I'd come push you if I wasn't holding the camera. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, almost. <laughs> We're using our force to try to <laughs> We're trying to change the variable. <laughs> so I'm getting up really high so I can use my body force. Come on! I'm leaning, I'm leaning really hard. Okay. It. Yeah, I gotta go up again. forces we applied we used I used my foot on the ground to push us you did and then if you notice our bodies we swung our bodies trying so to use gravity so that we worked. would be pulled back down is that then, how you got it to work yeah wow and then we ended up back right where we started not moving again and in a balanced force state we needed more of a force we need that took a lot can you hear us breathing <laughs> took a lot of force to get us there what about swings? In a balanced force. We're not moving. So how do we move? You guys do this all the time, you play. What do you do? How do you start swinging? What do you do? You apply a force. Push. A push. And then guess what? It pulls us. Oh. And then we start to swing. Now, if there was no gravity in the world, we would just continue to swing forever. But we won't. We will stop. And if I want to Eventually, stop sooner, yeah. I need to apply a different force. I'm going to apply some friction and see what happens. Oh, you dragged your feet. I'm dragging my feet on the ground. Applying friction. I'm not pressing, my feet were just applying friction. Mm -hmm. And now I've stopped. So as you're playing, be thinking about how am I getting my body or the thing I'm playing on to move uh -huh. and what forces are at play? Now Ms. Oslin, yes. how can we get going really fast on a swing? You start up higher. Oh. Oh, look at that. She's starting up higher. She's changing the variable of where she's starting. And then she's making, look at that aerodynamics of her legs. Oh, so she's teetering on that swing. She's pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling back, using the force of her body to push and pull the swing to create unbalanced force to continue moving. Now, what do you do if you wanna stop? <laughs> I'm not gonna jump out. I'm going to apply some friction. Another way I've learned to slow down, if I start like this, and I push and pull, what do you say push and I pull? The opposite force. Opposite force. And it goes slower. Isn't that cool? Yes. Pretty fun. Very fun. Or you can just stop it all together yeah, and put your feet down. Put your feet down. So when you're stop playing friends, be aware of the sounds. Now you don't have to have a sound machine like that. Mm -mm. You can use sticks and things on everything around here to make sound. Find the sounds, find the forces. Science is all around you. Change the variables to see how you can change the sound. All right, friends. We will see you next time. Oh, oh. We again. again. We need our affirmation. Affirmation time.
Hmm. I got it. Okay. I am fun to play with. Better. Sounds and forces are fun to play with. Oh, love I it. can play with sounds and forces. I can play with sounds and forces. Here we go. Ready? Deep breath, everyone. I, I can, can play, play with sounds, sounds and forces. forces. All right, friends. Have a great day. Excellent job. See you later. Bye. for the crewmate you picked. Three, you will get points for each correct crewmate and exercise you choose. Four, you will get bonus points if you find Maui's hook. Five, if you pick the imposter, you will lose all your points. Six, use your math skills to see how many points you can get. Good luck. Good luck.